can fish friends. I still have a cold, so please excuse the uh, very deep voice. I've had this cold for about two and a half weeks now, and um, I'm tired of it, but at least I don't have to blow my nose a thousand times a day. Yay. Um, so I vermicompost. Actually, I don't vermicompost. I raise worms to go fishing with. So I've tried it for two years, and this is a shout out to the crazy worm lady. Um, I've watched a bunch of her videos and there is a better way to feed your worms instead of a dry mix on top of the soil. Um, so I went out, we just had a, a, a thunderstorm roll through with lots of rain. And with lots of rain, the worms kind of come to the surface. And I'm using my phone so I don't know where to look. Um, and so, so here we go. So I was digging around in my mulch beds and lo and behold, these monstrosity worms as big as snakes came popping up out of the mulch once I started digging around. Well, then there was one area where there were leaves. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, stay out of the leaves in the summertime because uh, snakes the size of these worms I don't know what it was. I'm gonna roll the footage right here. And um, so yeah, it's little tongue was popping out while I had cut him in half. I put my little trowel down as I was digging in the dirt and I saw something slither away, I wasn't about to touch it because it went a lot faster than the worms, even though the worms will scare the crap out of you. I wish I had video for that, but I was in worm catching mode. But I'll show you these uh, worms here in just a minute. So I saw it was a snake because it had a pattern on its back and I was like, you have to die because I have dogs and I don't know whether you're a copperhead or not or what. So I got the um, loppers and I lopped the puppy in half. So yeah, you saw that in the video, his guts was hanging out. I'm sorry, he may have been a good snake. Snakes are snakes, they have to die because mm -mm, no, no, I don't mess around with snakes. Even though I was messing around with the snake, I'm, mm -mm, it had to go. Even though it was a baby, I don't care. Because where there's one, there's two, there's three, there's a thousand of them. Just like these worms that I was digging up out of my garden today. I'm not my garden, but I'm going to have a garden. So let me switch it to, I'm in my garage sitting on the floor because I have this huge bucket of uh, worms and I'm gonna put one on the ground so that you can see these puppies are as big as snakes. So let's take a look at them. All right, so here's my bucket. I've kind of made a little, here I'm moving, I'm sorry. I made a little um, environment for them. Some of them you can see right, right over here and there's one right there. And he's moving around. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Now let me pull one of these puppies out of here because, honey, they're big as snakes. They're as big as snakes. Yes, they are. Look, look. They're huge. Come here, you. You big slithering thing. And when I turn the dirt, these big puppies, I mean, they're as big as snakes, man. Look. Let me get him in my hand right. Yeah, they're big. They're big. I mean, they're as big as my hand. And when these little red wigglers earthworm starts slithering around the grass when you turn it upside down. It looks like snakes. Let me get in here. Look how many I found, y'all. Look, look, look. They're huge. They're enormous. There's a thousand of them in here. I just went worm crazy. And some girls are going, oh my god, how can you do that? Yeah, man, I hit the honey hole. I hit the honey hole with these worms. Oh, I'm so happy. I doubt I can keep them this big and fat, big, fat, and healthy. Yep. Come here, there you go. They are huge, they're enormous. See, I can play with worms all day long, but don't you dare hand me a snake. And people are like, oh, well, they're just snakes without venom. Uh, no, they're not, they're earthworms. And I can handle an earthworm. They're big, fat, and juicy, and wiggling around. Look at that, this goes out to the worm lady, whom I already wrote a message to today. She may not have gotten it already, but I have to say thank you, crazy worm lady, for help, oh see, there's a little baby one. He's just a little bitty. The crazy worm lady, oh sorry, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. The crazy worm lady helped me figure out how to feed these things. 
maybe I can keep these puppies big, fat, and healthy and juicy um, for my fishing. Ooh, baby, yeah, they look like snakes, don't they? Ooh, it's slithering right out of my hand. I could sit here and play with these things all day long, but I'm not going to. So those are my worms. I'm, I'm having fun playing with them, but um, yeah, so. <laughs> Uh, where do I go from here? Oh, I have a Worm Tower, Worm, Worm Factory 360. And I think I'm going to add them to that, but I already have European Reds, which are as big as these, but they don't wiggle as much. European Reds, I bought them off of Uncle, Uncle Tom, Uncle Jim. Uh, Uncle Jim's Worm Farm, yes. Uncle Jim's Worm Farm dot com, I think. Um, last year they all died because I was not, didn't know what I was doing and they, they all dried up like the Mojave Desert and they all just shriveled up and died. And because it does not really work real well when you accidentally turn on the dehumidifier in the, um, AC unit, unit you have in the garage. <laughs> Whoops. They all got the, the moisture sucked out of them. So anyway... Let me show you my bins. So this is, um, this is a, a, a necessity right here. This is uh, shredded paper. You have to have a cross cut shredder to get this small. So I've gotten in the habit of cross cutting good paper. Um, let's move over here. I have this one bin. If you watched a crazy worm lady and any other people that says do your own worm bins, I cut holes all in my top here. I don't put holes in the um, sides just because, you know. Oh, look, they ate that up today. Oh, they need some food. Didn't I put a burrito in here today? Um, this may not be enough light in here, but let me turn this over. Oh, they've moved. They they moved. Oh, the reason why they're eating... No, they're not eating paper. That's dirt. That's dirt. Sorry, I thought they were eating it. Um, but I made myself a little burrito today. I put a banana and some watermelon in there. And I think they have since hit the burrito. Uh, it's newspaper, or shredded paper. I put the um, banana and the watermelon and a piece, a couple of pieces of bread in there and wrapped it up in, in, um, wrapped it up in newspaper. And they're having a little burrito fest in there. Okay, so that's that bin. Um, and also the worm lady taught me how to take a jug like this and put holes in it to make your own spritzer. Um, and that works real well. In this container right here, I have a, this is my dry mix that I've always used. Do not do this alone, people. Do not have this as the only food source. This is wheat flour, um, crushed oats, you know, powdered down. And what's that other thing? Come on, baby, work for my brain. Uh, cornmeal. And then I added um, crushed eggshells. Um, yeah, they'll go through, they'll go through a, 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 a spritz of that on top of the thing in less than 12 hours. Okay, so here's my new one. I was using this as a box, my challenge box, as you can read that on the box, as a lure holder. But I started this one yesterday because I can't drive yet. Um, I got some worms in here. Um, I made a little burrito and I added some stuff in there too. Crazy worm lady. You be, you be proud of me. Um, I put some stuff in there. They're happy and they're wet. And Okay, so there's that little bin. And y'all, when you start doing your vermicomposting and you, you, you know, the only reason I do it is for bait. And some people, um, so here's my, um, as you probably read on the thing, it's upside down. Upside down, Worm Factory 360. Um, you definitely have to keep these puppies wet, very, very wet, because a lot of air gets to them. So I've taken this um, newspaper, and I've taken um, the side of a, a grocery bag, paper grocery bag, and I just keep this soaked on the top. And I added... Um, Oh, as you can see, some of the dry mix, because I'm still trying to teach myself how to use the um, burrito method, which is right there. I added 
paper and bread and all that kind of good yummy stuff and I hope that they're having a good time on that so um, so those are my worm bins and you know you're just like lazy potato chips you can't have just one worm bin um, over here I bought y'all probably gonna freak out about this some of the ladies will freak out if I can do this with one hand I doubt I can hold on just a second open up this bag and in this bag are dried mealworms. You probably can't see it. Yeah, there they are. Dried mealworms. Um, no, they aren't moving. I'm making them move. Um, I was buying, I bought these uh, mealworms. They're dead. They're dried out. They look like they're moving, but they're just moving in my hand. Um, I bought these thinking I could use them to catch brim with. Y'all, these are like little straws. When you break them in half, you probably can see that that they're like straws and you can't get them on a hook and so I did a little experiment where I tried to put them in a Ziploc bag with water to reactivate their exoskeleton mm -mm, honey there's no reactivation they're hard as rocks so we shall see let me get this close because of this see dried mealworms and y'all they stink they stink like um stuff so back to me. Hey, there I am. So, um, so yeah, there's my little uh, worm fun. Um, I have, when I get my driving privileges back next week, it's about a week and a half. Um, hallelujah, praise Jesus, I can get out of the house and, and drive a car six months. Um, yeah, it's been tough, and I'm done, and I'm ready to drive a car again. Um, so, so those are my worms. And I'll look at you instead of the floor. Um, um, I got the arms today. My nose is still stuffy. But anyway, I'm going to get out there fishing again. So mark your calendars. The first week of July. My birthday's July 3rd. So I know I'm going to be fishing somewhere on July 3rd in the morning. Because then my family and friends will be, will be celebrating my birthday somewhere. And then there's Independence Day, which is July 4th. I'm so excited I'm shaking the phone. Independence Day. For me, independence. I get my independence back. I can drive a car. Um, so I may go fishing July 4th. Honey, I'm just going to be in a boat 24-7 to be able to go fishing all the time. So um, the videos will be coming in rapid succession. I'll at least re uh, release a video once every week. Um, so yeah, I'm just so excited. I can drive myself. Big Nelly. Here, let me turn the camera over here. Ooh, there's Big Nelly right there on the trailer by the car and all my stuff. All in those cabinets you see right there is fish stuff. And there's lures and my Z-Man bag on top of the, the um, counter there. And there's all fishing stuff all over the place. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just getting excited. Y'all get excited, too, because... Uh, it won't be every two weeks that I release a video. It would be every week. Um, and these worms, y'all, these those brim won't know what hit them. But these big, fat, juicy things, it's going to be fun. And my nose is dripping, y'all. Sorry. I got to go blow my nose. So I'll see y'all later.